Hi everyone, it's Heather at Gypsy Crafter Journals. I thought I'd show you some of my weekend makes. Now I have uploaded a couple of videos on the items that I've made and I'm going to show you how to make a couple more of them today. So, um, what I have made this weekend for the new journal that I am putting together, um, I'm putting together coordinated colours just because that, it helps my brain um, to be able to put something together. I'm less likely to sort of dilly-dally over it if I have things that match. I know a lot of people don't like matchy-matchy, but I personally like to have some things coordinated. I do like a bit of an eclectic mix, but if the colours go together, I'm more likely to be able to work with that. So this is some of the washi tape that I made, the fabric washi tape, using the strips of fabric. And uh, I sort of by happy accident, because I lost my actual rotary cutter, and I still haven't found it, I used um, a wavy edge cutter and I've got some beautiful wavy edge washi tape which is new to me so that's great so I've got something a little bit different I think it goes really well because it's quite a delicate look so I like that so I've got a lovely stash of pinks and greens now for that particular project obviously there's no way I'm going to use all of this but I don't really like these colours so I will definitely use those in a different journal I'm sure <coughs> or I'll make certainly make more than one Okay, the other thing that I've made a video on already is this uh, ruff ruffle, fabric ruffle. So again, using strips of fabric, I basically just ruffled up and sewed through, just using a running stitch um, all the way through, uh, and then pulled it to make a ruffle. Really easy, I'm sure loads of you have done this already, uh, but there is a video up on that already. So, they're done, ready to go. The other things I made, these gorgeous little fabric clusters, and some of them are no-sew, so literally you can put them together um, and instead of sewing them I've used the wire from the um, roses that I've put in them. And it's just using little scraps of fabric, literally scraps of fabric, um, and fastened together with the wire from the roses. <coughs> excuse me and the other ones I've done again a cluster but I've sort of ruffled up some of the fabric and I've actually sewn through those and added a bit of ribbon and a button so I've made a few of those and they are incredibly easy to make so I'll show you very quickly in a moment how I put those together so just put those to one side the other things I made were these um, what I call belly bands but actually they could be these could be sort of um, edge decorators sort of for the, for the edge of pages or for the front of pockets and things like that um, and on these particular ones I just used a strip of craft card and I ruffled up the um, fabric as I was putting it on and I used glue and then just used some pretty uh, faux pearls flat backs on those um, and the belly bands <coughs> made in exactly the same way just using a strip of card I have a lot of these as off cuts I always save them ready to do this so that I can make them quickly um, and I'm using the coordinating fabric on laces and just layering them up until I like the look of them again coordinated so they're nice and easy for me to pull out and use this one obviously is massive I wouldn't use this in a book on its own but what I would do is cut strips of it and then use that either as a very wide belly band or as a pocket, turn it into a pocket or the front of an envelope, um, sort of a flip or something like that. So it's there ready to go. So it's effectively it's a belly band, but it probably won't be used as a belly band. So there you go, that's those. And the last thing was to make some paper clips, decorated paper clips, made in a couple of different styles. Now this style I use all the time because they're so simple which is basically any size paper clip you want then a strip of fabric which is basically just tied to the top of the paper clip using what I believe is called the lark's head knot so you just basically fold it through and pull it tight and I just use a little dab of glue to hold that in place so they're those and I use those all the time <coughs> so I've got some in coordinating fabrics I got this little tiny mini clip um, and that's handy for sort of adding things to the side of pages or just keeping things closed and very simple I just added a little bit of lace on there and it was coloured pink already but if obviously if you have 
silver ones. You can colour them with alcohol ink or paint or whatever. Um, and then these ones, this is just a little bit of fabric that I just I pulled out. Now, I wouldn't want a lot of this fabric in there, but it does give quite a strong pop of colour. So I just add a little bit of fabric and lace to that one. And then these ones are um, sort of flag type. So they have a bit of fabric laid up with some lace and then a couple of faux uh, pearls, flat back pearls on the front as well. So they're really easy to make. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make these, these, these and these in videos now. So I shall be back in a moment. Right then, I'm back. So first thing I'm going to show you is the very, very easy little fabric clusters so this sort of thing now what I did obviously I had some scraps left over after I'd made my washi tape and I literally just took those scraps and hacked them into little pieces in fact some of them were already hacked into little pieces so literally the edges if they were tatty like that or pinked or just torn I'm happy with that I like that so then I just got um the different types of fabric now you have to excuse me because I don't have it all now because I've used most of it up um, I literally just laid it up like so and I think I'll just hack a little bit of little bit of lace maybe like this one so, just take a little bit of lace and I'll layer that one up like so. Now you could easily just add a little bit of fabric glue in between and then that's it. You could you could just layer them up and add a little embellishment. This is a flat back 12 mil pearl from Wild Orchid Crafts. I bought these a while ago. It's lilac flower shape. So you could literally just layer them up with glue um, and then just stick them together. Um, I didn't do that in this occasion. What I did was take my embroidery needle and poked a hole in between the layers of fabric, like so, to make a hole. Then I took one of the roses. You can see where I'm going with this, can't you? You can use as many layers as you like. And then it's just made enough of a hole for you to pop that rose into the fabric and out the other side and then that just holds the fabric in place like uh, like a larger fabric like a larger fabric rose effectively now what I do is take a pair of pliers uh, round nose pliers and I just wind the back of the flower until it becomes a coil but you could do that round um, pencil or something like that or just your fingers to be honest as long as you're careful you don't stab yourself and then that just makes enough of an anchor that that you know that's not really going anywhere and because you're going to be gluing it onto your project um, but you could if you wanted to you could sew that and basically that's it that's as simple as it gets now with the sewn ones what I did was I'll just take a bit of fabric. So I usually just tear. So I just do a little nick, tear a piece of fabric. <coughs> Once you're going to make this a little bit more hacked at the end, like that. So I'm really not fussy about how the fabric edges are because I want it to look a little bit different. So the fact that it's pinked on that side is good. Then I would take, you see it would be better if I had a different colour on there, but I don't at the moment, so I'm just going to lay that one up. But then what I did was take another piece of fabric and I literally just sort of ple ple crumpled it up, ruffled it, that's the word I'm looking for. So I ruffled it up like that and had that on there as well. And because I'd ruffled it up like that, then I used a button. And we're going to have to redo this actually. But here we go. So another piece of lace. I make a 
just a little bow just by putting two loops like so and when that's all ruffled up the bow will go on top and because I'm using a button and I'm sewing it in place it sort of holds the ruffle in place now I use fabric but obviously in this one it's lace so in that case you would literally just use needle and thread to sew your button in place which is really easy what I'm going to do is just make a knot and I'll do this one really quick so the first thing I do is layer up my fabric then I make my bow a bit of thin lace like so I think you can see this okay I pop my button on top and I sew through from the back and sew my button onto the bow and that then holds the bow and makes the shape of the bow so it just keeps that lace in position there we go, so I've sewn that button on there, it's not straight particularly it's because I'm doing it on camera then I'll get the piece of fabric or lace I'll ruffle that up and then I'll take my needle which is already still attached to the bow just feed that through there and back again and then that's holding the ruffle in place and then slightly better if you can just sort of get that on its side it's a bit more difficult with a tiny piece of lace but I'm sure you get the idea that then gets placed on top of the different pieces of fabric and you sew through the fabric without stabbing your finger off and back up through the button but of course because I'm on camera I can't see what I'm doing there we go through the button hole out and out through the other side and then at the back you don't need to go through a lot at the back I just anchor it by popping a couple of stitches there we go so that's that that's a bit square for me I'll probably hack a little bit off very tatty indeed so there you go so that's one and two and they're brilliant just for adding to pages pockets whatever for a bit of decoration so there we go so that's those ones so that's nice and easy but of course remember you can use glue and literally just layer that up the trick is not to think too carefully about it to have sort of three different pieces of fabric maybe a bit of lace as well um, and if they're slightly, if they're in the same colour scheme, but they're slightly different. Um, so, for example, here I've got the um, check. I've got the fairly plain, but there is a small amount of floral on there. Um, and this one again, there's a small amount of floral, but slightly different colours. And then a little bit of cream lace that contrasts. That's all you need. So one, two, three, four layers plus your button, and it makes a really nice embellishment. Right then. <clears throat> Just one second, I'll pause and then I'll do the next item. Okay, I'm back. Right, I'm going to show you how to do the paper clips now, which are incredibly easy. In fact, all of this is incredibly easy. So we have the sort of flag style side um, paper clips. So this one I've cut into a flag shape. 
these ones literally it's just tatty at the edges um, and also there is the little bulldog clip but also these top decorated paper clips so the well I'll do the top one first these ones are really good for using the smaller paper clips um, <clears throat> because it's not obviously there's not a lot you can do the side loaded for these ones but it's just a really quick and easy way of getting a bit of decoration uh, in your book so I basically just cut a piece of lace or ribbon not a large piece then I fold that in half pop it into the middle of the paper clip then you open up the loop side and you push the tails through the loop and then just pull it tight. Now what I do to make sure that it doesn't come off while it's in the book, just put a tiny tiny blob of glue on the knot. So got some fabric or three in one craft glue here. That is now going to be completely clogged up, isn't it? Because I haven't actually checked it this morning. I just pop a little tiny bit of glue on there. I just need them clogging. And then just pull it tight again. And what you can do if you want is you can make that into sort of flag shapes if you wanted. So so just by folding it in half, cut from the outer edge a little bit into the inner part and it becomes flag ends. I hope that's obvious. There's a right side and a wrong side you'll be able to see. But that's a really quick and easy way of making some decorated paper clips to pop into your journal. Right, just one second. Okay, glue unclogged. So what we're going to do now is these side, um, side on paper clips. So just take a little strip of fabric, approximately the same width as your paper clip. I'm using sort of medium sized paper clips here. And you are going to fold your piece of fabric. You're going to take it through the paper clip itself into the middle part. But then you want to make sure that it's under that bottom bar. So it's literally just over the one bar because what you want is to keep this middle bit free so that it can clip onto something. So I hope you can see that it's literally only going over the bottom. Maybe that side. It only goes over the bottom bar like that. So you folded that over and I'm only going to glue it. So what do you do then is literally just take your fabric glue or your craft glue or whatever you want to use and just pop a little bit of glue. You can do this with paper obviously if you want to but I just like the fact that it's fabric so I make all my fabric elements together and then fold it over and just press it down. Now if you want to have a little edge at the bottom you could leave that open slightly and just pop a tiny bit on the edge there. Just add a little bit of lace in between the two pieces of fabric and then close it. There you go. And cut the excess off. These scissors aren't doing very well, are they? So there you go. And then you can decorate either side. Now with these, I just used a piece of lace and again did exactly the same thing with it. Just popped it through the middle of the paper clip and then put it underneath that little bar so that it rested on top of the other piece of fabric. Now, actually, I'm not going to do that now. What I'm going to do is layer up another piece of fabric. So you could literally just take a 
tiny chunk, tiny scrap of fabric. And layer that up. food delivery today so I might have to pop off in a minute. There we go and let's do a little bit of lace. Is that one? Then you can just use whatever embellishments you like. So I've just got some flat back. These are sticky back pearls, but obviously you put glue on as well just to make sure it stays where it needs to go. And then there are these of course, uh, flower type ones. Now I use, when I use um, embellishments, I have been using this stuff, but I actually I like trim it. Um, it's a high tack adhesive for um, rhinestones and things like that and I found that this one's actually really good so I'm going to use a little bit of this if it will come out the bottle which it might not so I'll nick my little thing there we go can't see what I'm doing now there we go I think I've got my contact lenses in the wrong eyes today one of them's blurry doesn't seem quite right there we go right and then pop that on there, there we go. Right, I think that's my husband about to take the order in because I think the van has just arrived. So I might have to pause the video in a second. But there you go, so that's uh, a decorated paper clip. And you can do that in numerous ways um, using the fabric little tiny offcuts that you've got. If you keep the fabrics coordinated, then it just makes life really, really easy last one of the clip type is one of these little tiny bulldog clips very very easy um, all I did was just take a little bit of lace I think that might be big enough popped a tiny bit of glue on the bulldog clip and then just literally stuck it on like that and that just decorated that so I'm not going to do that because I don't actually want many of those. So there we go, so that's that. Right, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll sort out the area so that I can show you the layered uh, pieces. Okay, I'm back. So, last makes for this session. I'm going to show you the large belly bands and uh, the sort of ruffled decoration so that's these and the ruffled decorations basically all using card as a background now I these are my off cuts these are things that I have stashed away I don't use in my normal work but it seems too good to throw them away which is one of the reasons why I started Young Journaling because I have so much card that I needed to use and it just felt a waste to throw it so I thought you know what can I do with it and do something creative that I enjoy so I have these uh, sort of grey slightly thinner boards some off cuts of craft card and sort of edge trims of card which again it's where I've die cut things out um, and then I literally guillotine through a stack sort of this thick of card and this is what I'm left with these strips which are great for making belly bands with so with the wide belly band which can also be used for things like pockets because if I'm making um, an A6 book this is beautiful to make a pocket I literally just cut that across um, and then it's it's ready decorated pretty much only have to add a couple more bits so very very simple and I'm sure you've all done this before but just to uh, show what I did it was literally to glue a piece of fabric to the base of the card 
and then layer it up. Ooh, my bits. Some coordinating fabric on top, and then maybe sort of a strip of lace if you don't have any of the thicker lace. So I might do this with a thinner one. Then we'll just layer up um, a strip of lace, or I could use another maybe use another strip of fabric first. So basically just go from a larger piece of fabric, contrasting piece of fabric, another piece of fabric and maybe a piece of lace, depending on how wide your card is. And then just glue it all in place. I use the three in one craft glue for this and that did a super job and has held all of my um, belly bands very, very well. I think what I'll do is just a slightly thinner version. So rather than using the massive one, because I've already got a big one of those. Um, so basically, just, is that gonna be big enough? <clears throat> so you can see, you can just use your scraps up basically. And again, all I do is literally just tear strips so that I get that lovely frayed edge. So I will, See how big that is. That's perfect size. So just adding the three in one craft glue, you could use fabric glue. I understand fabric tac is pretty much the same as the one I'm using at the moment, but you know, I don't know, I've never used fabric tac. Uh, you could use white glue. To be honest, if you're going to sew through it, I would probably use glue stick, because glue stick's pretty good. Okay. Or you could use hot glue if you wanted. Right, so let's turn that over and just pop that on the top. Let's stick it down. And we're going to layer. Another piece on top. This isn't quite big enough to go the whole length. I don't think I've got a piece that's quite big enough, unless what I might do is I'll just cut this down. So basically, I'll just snip the top, tear a strip. <coughs> that nearly went in my coffee, which is very cold now. I've done the food delivery, <laughs> came in quickly, shoved it all in the fridge in the freezer. I don't know about you guys, but I do like to have plenty of frozen vegetables in these days. It saves me popping to the shop all the time. And frozen vegetables are incredibly versatile. They're brilliant. I stick them in everything. Soups and curries and all sorts. Right then, here we go. So then just pop that in the middle. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight because it all adds to the charm. And I'm going to hack that off there. And last bit, that bit of lace isn't going to be quite long enough, is it? I don't think I've got a bit that's long enough. Mm. That's getting closer. But to be honest with you, even if you don't have, you could literally just cut that last bit off. Is that long enough? Oh yeah, we'll go with that one, shall we? Um, you can literally cut that last bit off and just decorate it slightly differently. <coughs> so if we just pop a little bit of glue all the way down the middle. You could of course layer up two pieces of lace. see that that is definitely not perfect but you know it looks fine when it's in the book you won't notice it all adds to the charm so just cut that end off and there we go and that is if you can see with the lighting in here it's really dark today for some reason 
Uh, that is a belly band using just some scraps of fabric. Right then, last one. You can of course use ribbons as well. So I used a ribbon, silk ribbon in the middle of that one just to add another pop of colour. Right, so the last one um, is making these ruffled uh, little decorations. Obviously with the belly band you can add little decorations like this as well. Chances are if that was going on the front of a, um, a on the front of a pocket I might add something like that on there as well. Um, but it just gives you a base to start with. Right, so for these I just used literally just an off cut of card. <clears throat> I don't cut it down completely to start with because I don't know how big my ruffle is going to end up. So not a slightly smaller piece of fabric. Here we go. So what I do for these ones is just layer some glue. Now this is where it gets sticky and messy, which is why this one has been left to the last because it cakes on my fingers and then I have to go and wash them because I don't like the feeling of glue on my fingers. So then I take my fabric, pop the first bit on there and then as I am sort of moving down I sort of ruffle it up so just sort of fold it lightly and then stick it as I'm going. So again it's not perfect, I actually quite like it when it's sort of slightly to the side so I try to make it sort of irregular. You can see I'm trying to go in different directions. <clears throat> so there we go. And I can go a little bit further with this one. So I've got a bigger piece of paper uh, and a bigger piece of fabric. There we go. Just sort of push it up like that and that that causes a ruffle so there you go so that's the bottom layer then I'll get a piece of lace and do exactly the same thing just pop some glue all the way down the middle of the fabric ruffle and then stick the lace down but just try to sort of scrunch it up as I'm going and you will get glue all over your fingers and I don't like that and it annoys me a bit if I'm honest and I'll have to go and wash my hands in a minute because it will drive me insane and you will keep lifting up the lace because your fingers are now covered in glue but you know this is the things we have to endure as a crafter See if I can use a stick or something to make that a little bit easier. <clears throat> if you pre ruffle your lace, chances are this will make it slightly easier because you could just stick the ruffle down on top. But this is it's a fairly quick process, it's just a bit messy. There we go. I'm not gonna go any further than me. Ooh, look at that. Ah, does it bug anybody else? And they do this. Let me know how horrible that feels on your fingers and if you've got any way of dealing with it other than a baby wipe which I still haven't brought over. Right so there we go we're going to cut that last little bit of lace off. I'm going to hack that last little bit of card off. I don't want it to be showing in case I use this as an entire piece so there we go. So that's gone. Now that's not too bad I managed to get the glue off. So now we are going to add the top on that. I'm going to add a couple of little embellishments. I'm going to stick with a similar theme. So I've got these cute little pearl ones and so you can see these ones that I made. I think I'll do another one with green. So what we're going to do is use the trim it because I find that this stuff sticks fast. This stuff might do as well, but I have used it in the past. I know people on YouTube do use it, but I'm really pleased with this particular one. So hopefully we'll do the job. There we go. So we stick that one in the middle and we'll go for I think we'll 
go for three either side. There will be a lot of glue around the edge and now the embellishments are sticking to my fingers because of the glue. That's actually got something lucky on the side of it. Let's see what that is. Right, I think that's gone. So now I need to squish that in place. The glue does dry clear, so even though I put shed loads on, you shouldn't notice it because I did the same with these ones and you can't see with those. So I am putting them on but I'm not being particularly careful about where I'm placing them because obviously it's going in a junk journal. I don't want everything to be perfect. I want it to be slightly mismatched, a little bit junky looking, not perfect. So diagonal. Piggledy piggledy is fine by me. That one's not enjoying it, is it? There's something on that. I'm going to remove that one. Pop a tiny bit more glue on. And stick another embellishment there. there stick another flat back pearl there. There we go. Okay, now I need to stop fiddling with it or I'm going to wreck it. But that's basically it. So, we've made quite a few different types of embellishment today um, really really easy to make every single one is really easy to make uses up your scraps as long as you stick with sort of coordinated colors it makes life so much easier because um, you don't have to think too hard about what's going together and I find that really is the secret for me to put things together in mass otherwise it can take me I mean it takes a while anyway you know what it's like you sort of the gluing and all that sort of thing it does take a while to make but at least you're not then messing around um, trying to figure out what goes with what because it, it all goes everything goes with everything so you can literally just pick one two three layer it up one two three layer it up and it all goes and in the end it, you've thrown it together but you end up with a really stunning result and that is the trick for me to keep the colors um, in a certain colour palette and that works I get a lot more done so thanks very much for joining me sorry I do tend to waffle on sorry about all the throat clearing all the usual things and the introduction and um, interruptions but I do appreciate your support and coming back to the channel and um, I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of these embellishments being made take care thanks for coming back and um, subscribe if you like videos like this and click your notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload again so take care everybody, hope you have a fantastic week, um, what are we today, we're Monday today, and uh, but this will be uploaded probably in a day or so, and um, I'll see you in the next video, so take care everybody.